Good evening, everybody. It is Thursday night, and I'm your host, Jason Thrifts, and you are joining me on my new Thursday night's how-to video series for me. Tonight, I'm going to razzle-dazzle you. Tonight, I'm bringing magic. Tonight, I'm going to show you how you can take this ceramic drinking vessel that will break, and we are going to ship it in this envelope and have it get to its customer in one piece and have the customer be happy. Now, there are many naysayers and there are some of you who are probably not even watching because you're like, I will ship it in a box still, thank you. Now, that person isn't gonna tune in tonight and see, I still do ship it in a box, but it is a box that happens to fit in this envelope and it saves you money on Jimmy. Now, is this used for everything? Absolutely not. If you sell a Fabergé egg, should you FOMO it? No. If you sell um, a uh, fine bone china that is super thin, should you FOMO it? No. If you sell a thousand dollar tiki mug, should you FOMO it? No. But if you sell a $40 tiki mug and it's modern and it's thick and it's hearty, or a coffee mug, then yes, you should absolutely FOMO it. All right, so without further ado, I give you how to FOMO. Hey, this is Jason Thrifts, and in this how-to video, I teach you how to FOMO. Shipping ceramic mugs in a padded flat rate priority envelope. Now you may be asking yourself, what is FOMO? Well, FOMO is something I developed many years ago and it stands for Freely Overcoming Mug Obstacles. You too can ship ceramic mugs in a padded flat rate priority envelope to save big money. All right, let's start out with a coffee mug first. How about this cute little one from Treasure Island at the Mirage? And you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need, for mugs with handles, you're gonna need a little chunk of pool noodle. You're gonna need some painter's tape, just enough that it'll hold it in place, but it won't leave any marks or residue on the mug. And you're gonna need three sections of brand new bubble wrap. Do not reuse bubble when doing this uh, because bubble has a shelf life. All right, then you're gonna wrap, 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 and tape. Now. You don't want the, the, the top or the bottom to be too bulbous. So fit all the excess on top down in the opening of the mug and then tape it down. And uh, there we go. Gonna tape it down with my eBay tape, which I get every quarter with my shipping coupon. All right, now we're tape the bottom too. You do wanna leave a little on the bottom because you want that extra padding, but you don't want it to be too bulbous. For this uh, mug, I needed a 20 by 12 piece of cardboard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the cardboard around the mug. We're gonna tape the cardboard into place. And then we're gonna basically construct a custom built box for this mug that just happens to fit into a padded flat right envelope. Now, what I'm doing is I am cutting pretty much everywhere where there is a fold for the cardboard. And then I'm going to wrap, uh, wrap. <laughs> I'm going to press down all those cut pieces of cardboard. So now all this cardboard is overlapping on both the top and the bottom of the mug, making it super duper strong. Whoops, forgot to cut one. Let's get that cut. There we go. All right, down, down. Oh, sometimes you got if you have a short enough mug, you might have to trim a little bit of excess off, but there we go. And now we're gonna tape that one way and uh, perpendicularly tape it the other way. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom side. Now, if you don't have these handy dandy electric scissors, I'd get some. Uh, regular scissors have their place, but when you're cutting cardboard and if you sell online, you're always cutting cardboard to uh, shore up some package or another, get yourself some electric scissors they uh, go through the cardboard so quick and there's no stress on your hands. As we get older, our hands hurt more. All right, so there we go. There is a coffee mug and a custom-built cardboard box that fits perfectly 
in a padded flat rate envelope. Okay, let's talk about the coffee mugs that can go into this padded flat rate envelope. The Spice Girls mug on the left is normal size coffee mug. Grumpy is a huge coffee mug like for soup. And then the reindeer has two handles, so it's huge and fragile. Now we're gonna show you how to do tiki mugs. The one on the left is nice and thick. The one on the right is vintage and way thinner, so you don't wanna do that. And then again, the one on the left is small, it's round, it's perfect. The one on the right is gigantic and wide. And although it's the same thickness, it just won't work. All right, so let's ship this tiki mug. And at the end, I'll show you what it's sold for and if the customer was happy or not. Now, when you do tiki mugs, for the most part, they're round. So it's even easier than the coffee mug because there is no stupid handle to deal with. All right, so we're going to do it the exact same way. Now, while I am wrapping up this mug with three pieces of bubble wrap, let's talk about why we do this. The savings is gigantic. If I would ship this tiki mug from my house in Las Vegas to, say, a customer in Augusta, Maine, it'll be a two-pound mug going at around a two-pound rate, and that'll be around $12.60. If I ship it in the padded flat rate, it is $8.00. And 20 cents. It's over a four dollar savings. Now you might say to yourself, well, four dollars isn't that much, but I have shipped thousands of mugs this way. Thousands. Because I looked at my first video I ever did for this demonstration, and it was 10 years ago. And I shipped so many coffee mugs, so many tiki mugs, and so you know, times that two, three, four dollar savings by let's say just say two thousand. That's a crazy amount of money. Now that money can either go in your pocket, it could go towards uh, having a shipper, uh, cheaper shipping rate, uh, so your customers will go to you as opposed to your competition. So I'll charge $9.99 for shipping, it only costs $8.20, so that buck eighty that's left over paid me for a little bit of my time on doing this, and it also uh, paid for my shipping supplies. Uh, now. Will you be fast the first time you do this? Heck no. This is me, A, doing it a thousand times, but B, also, I slowed it down a little bit so you could see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, so here we are again. Now, um, like I said, the nice thing about round mugs is uh, no handle in the way. So the cardboard will overlap on both ends. Super duper uh, nice. And uh, one thing is when you get the mug in the box, make sure you get it right in the middle of the box. So it's equidistant on both ends. All right, here we are overlapping the cardboard, just like on the coffee mug. But as you can see, it fits together a little bit more nice and neat. Now, like the demonstration, the uh, mugs I showed you, modern thick mugs, yes. Vintage thin mugs, no. Giant opening mugs, no regular size to small opening mugs, yes. This is not for everything, but for the things it is, oopsie, I had to cut off a little bit there. For the things it works on, it saves money. Anywhere from two to four dollars. So I'm all about saving money. Like I said, I keep it at 10 bucks. I put the 180 towards my shipping supplies. Customers love it, I love it. And uh, there you go. Uh, see how nice and just compact that is? And okay, so we are gonna, uh, really demonstrate how kick-ass this is because uh, this was an actual mug that I sold that had to be shipped out. So here we are putting it in the padded flat rate. Now, when you close a padded flat rate that's maybe a little bit at the edge, like it's pushing maximum density, um, you're allowed to use per the uh, DMM, the USPS uh, uh, rule book, you're allowed to use a piece of tape to go over where it seals. I can't tape this whole thing around and around and around and around but I can use that one piece of tape. And now let's see how well it does. I'm gonna chuck it over my head, which is not gonna be the best video, but there it is. All right, so let me go pick that up now. You waddle over there and pick that up and show you that it's all good. Now, how am I gonna show you that it's all good? Well, how about the feedback I got from the customer? Highly recommended. It. it was a $100 Tiki mug. All right, but don't just take one customer's word for it. How about these customers? Packing was super. I am arrived well packed. Item arrived so fast, well packed. Uh, surprisingly fast and in great condition. Packed like a pro, well packed. Pristine condition, super well packed. Quick shipping, excellent packing. The proof is in the pudding. So thank you very much for watching this How To FOMO and make sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel for all my how-to video series with Jason Thrifts.